What's the big deal with cerebral edema? The big deal is that cerebral edema kills people in the mountains. And I've heard in books, they say, well, you can be dead in 12 hours once you diagnose cerebral edema. I've never seen that, but I've seen climbers that following the diagnosis of cerebral edema, literally 12 hours later, they go from being ambulatory, meaning they can walk, to being litter cases, non-ambulatory. Now, when you're non-ambulatory on a big mountain, that's a big deal. So you've got a person that can still walk. Maybe you carry their pack, you give them some ski poles, you help them down the mountain under their own power, you get them down. The problem is now you've got a person sitting in the snow, basically looking at you, I can't move, I can't go on, I don't have the energy, and now you've got to evacuate this patient. That can obviously be life-threatening on big mountains. So the treatment is you got to get these patients down. Peter Hackett likes to say the first three treatment options are descent, number two, descent, and number three, descent. What are other treatment options? Well, there is a drug that anyone going to extremely high altitude should be aware of, and that is dexamethasone, decadron. It is a very potent steroid that can be eaten, it can be given intramuscularly, or it can be given intravenously. Decadron should be carried by anybody that considers themselves a medical person on a high altitude trip. Decadron can really help temporize high altitude cerebral edema. In other words, if you've got somebody and you're getting ready to initiate your rescue, your descent, you can give them decadron. The indication medically when you have a patient with high altitude cerebral edema is immediate descent. You don't wait until the next morning for the helicopter to come. You don't wait until the next day to get the yak up. You get that person down tonight. But that's the medical indication. In the real world, there are times where you can't move patients. And if you absolutely can't move a patient, giving them Decadron can help temporize. And by that, I mean you can buy some time before you can initiate your actual descent. But I would never hesitate to begin moving a patient down immediately if there was any way on earth you can do that. Additionally, if you have oxygen, medical oxygen or climbing oxygen, putting these patients on oxygen will save their life, or at least will, as we said with Decadron, increase the amount of time that you have to get these patients down.